Hello everyone, it's Andy the GD Script Dude with another video in the Tetron game development series. This time we will implement the user interface logic for the buttons and pop-up window. We will create a main scene and script that connects to signals emitted by the GUI. Also we will define states of stopped, playing and paused for the state of the game. Finally we will be able to run the game and test our logic by pressing the buttons and observing the states of change in the scene. We want to be able to disable buttons and change the text depending on the state of the game. So let's start by adding methods to the GUI script to make this easy. If we click on say the about button we can see that the button has a disabled property. If you set it on it, it shadows out the, the button, it, it doesn't function. So it would be quite useful to have a function that allows us to set the state of any button, disabled or not. So let's click on the script for the GUI scene and add a function in. So I've named the, the function setButtonState and there are input parameters for the button name and the state of it, whether it is disabled or not. So we'll use the FindNode function, finding it by its name and then set the disable property on or off according to what we input to the state. So it's also useful to have a function to allow the changing of the text of a button. So we can add a set button text function. Again it has an input parameter of the name of the button and the text we want to display as the text property. When we click on the About button, it will open a pop-up window. We can click anywhere on the screen and then that would close the pop-up window. But then we want to re-enable re the About button. So rather than doing that by external logic, the best way is to do it by implementing a signal handler for the About box hiding. Click on Pop-up Hide. Let's connect that to our script, the GUI script, and that will have inserted an on about box pop up hide function. So, in this function, let's use our state button state setting function to re enable the button. So, we go set button state, the name of the about button, and say false for it being disabled, i.e., it is enabled. One final useful function to add to the GUI script is to have a function that sets several values for the for the button states depending on whether we're playing the game or we finish the game ready to start another one. This is called set button states and we input whether the the game is in a playing mode or not. So it kind of toggles these values depending on the whether playing is true or false. 